Okay, another part of this um, contest was to do a trick with um, a first form product. So I thought I would bust out my favorite products of the moment for um, protein. <laughs> my cinnamon uh, cookie batter level one. This is going to be a more of a meal replacement protein. And my root beer float, um, and this is gonna be my post-workout protein that I always use. So let's see if I can do this. So it may be like an actual trick after all because I may not be able to actually do it. So let's see. All right, I'm gonna attempt to do a push-up on my protein. Okay, here we go. I'm like not even like warmed up or anything. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. That was a lot harder. That was a lot harder than I think. I thought it was going to be. Oh my god, did I actually do it? Okay, I have to watch it. I thought it was going to be. Oh my god, did I actually do it? Okay, I have to watch it. All right guys, second attempt. I saw that it slipped a little bit, so I can't believe I'm gonna do this again. Um, that hurts so bad. I'm like, probably should have done this after I warmed up, but I'm gonna do this on the carpet this time so that, um, so that it doesn't slip. So let's try this again. Okay, that was interesting. Okay. Gonna have to get in shape. <laughs> Summer smash is coming. All right guys, back to the vlog. Enjoy my shenanigans. Wow, I just let me have it for a hot second. <sighs> Bye. It'll be natural. Bye, guys. I'm gonna film covering up my pimple on my forehead, so let me just, okay, there we go. Um, hi, guys. <laughs> so, I'm actually, uh, haven't picked up the camera at all, and I promised I would be cooking and grocery shopping, and that is coming soon. But um, we're actually in this really cute little diner. Oh, Edwina, we should take a picture in front of this. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm with Edwina and we just had the best meeting ever. We did. With um, Michelle, the girl who uh, has the radio show that we're always on yes. that you guys watch. WCOBM. Check so, it out on Facebook. Yeah, she came up with this idea and she's like, you guys have to come check out my space at Sin City uh, Pickers. I'm like, what the heck is that? We had no idea what this was. And come to find out, it's amazing. It's everything. The lighting's over here. I need to fix this camera. <laughs> Anyways, we're just here having a cup of coffee. Um, we have a few things we have to go over because our week is very busy. And um, yeah, I just wanted to say hi. And also, she gave us these uh, mad macro life against the grain. It's Essie's Essential Salted Chocolate Almond. It sounds amazing. Mad man plus protein brownie. <laughs> what are the macros on this? 260 calories. Oh yeah, this is a full meal. 18 grams of fat. This is a meal. Like I'm eating it with a spoon. 13 <laughs> grams of carbs. 15 protein. Yeah, this is. A yeah, meal. I would totally eat it with a spoon. It's kind of oily, but it's not in a bad way. Can you eat in your tequila? Okay, it's delicious. This is really good. Anyways, so yeah, thank you to Mad Macro. Um, we're gonna try it. They're a local company here in Vegas. Well, so they are. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. Which we love even more. Anyways, I just want to stop in and say hello. And yeah. Guys, look at this bar. It's so good. Like delicious. Anyways. Hi guys, so I just got home. That was so much fun, by the way. Um, we got so much filming done. We went to this antique place and we have some really exciting news coming up. I'm just like, I was telling Edwina, I'm like ready to take some risks. Like maybe do something that maybe is a little bit scary, maybe something outside of our our wheelhouse, but I'm just, I'm ready. I'm also ready to open up all these packages. So I kind of went nutso on Etsy 
Um, and I got a bunch of different little brooches, so I'm excited to see those. And I'm wondering if you guys want me to open it on camera. And then also, you guys were asking me to show you how to cut this t-shirt, which is like super easy. Oh, I have a pimple. Um, and this was so like a dollar at the thrift store. And um, I just kind of sliced it like this. So easy to do, you guys. So I was gonna actually do it to a first form t-shirt. And then I was thinking, if it if I don't love it, um, I could like maybe make it a, well, I could work out in this though, couldn't I? I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I do this to a first form t-shirt? Um, I feel like they sent me this t-shirt. I don't remember ordering it. I feel like they might have sent this to me for free. Um, Cause sometimes they'll send you a free t-shirt if you order a bunch of stuff. So um, I bought like a bunch of uh, stuff, like vitamins and um, the new tank tops and stuff like that. But I thought this would be kind of cute if I kind of cut it the same way as this. I don't know. It's not as wide as this shirt is though. This shirt was a little bigger. I almost feel like I needed I need a bigger shirt to do it. Anyways, I'll see. I'll see what I do. But the hubby and I are gonna go grocery shopping, and we're gonna cook together. Um, but I'm gonna film it. So I'm gonna charge up this battery. I just made some quinoa. It's part of that frozen quinoa that I get at Sprouts, and it's got a little spinach in there. And then I'm just gonna do a black bean burger. This has kind of been my go-to. So it's about a about a fourth cup of quinoa and a black bean burger from Costco, and it's kind of like super fast and easy um, when you're just looking for something kind of filling. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna go edit a Thrifters Anonymous video. It's a Catholic Charities, like come thrifting with us. Um, we filmed it like a couple weeks ago when it was cold and now it's hot, but some of you guys, it's still cold. So anyways, I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna edit, and then we're gonna go grocery shopping, and then there's Samson. Samson. Oh, and you guys, I thrifted this. You guys will see this in another video, but um, don't mind my bag over here. But this is a vintage Christian Dior robe. Ah, I'm in love with it. If you follow me on Snapchat, which I don't really post a lot, um, I posted a picture of me in it. So, anyways, let me get to, let me get to editing. All right, guys, we are at Sprouts, and I'm not really sure what I'm looking for, but I might go some like good ways and then maybe some lazy ways because I just, I don't have the energy to cook a lot. So I know I'm always showing you different ways, but it's helpful, I hope. So here we go. <laughs> okay guys, so whenever I try to get like back on track, Sometimes I'm not always 100%, which means that I'll forget my meals. So it's always good to have some good bars. Now, I used to be really into Quest until they started to just make me sick a little bit. I think it's like the sugar alcohols and stuff. So I'm just, I'm over that. Um, I really like the Kind bars. Those are really good. Um, the Cliff bars are really good. But again, these are just like emergency like snacks. So. I think all of these are pretty good here. You just want to look at the sugar. That's usually what I look at, by the way, if you're wondering. And that's why Quest was so popular, because they were really low on sugar. I really like these, actually. I find these to be kind of tasty. I might get one of these. Oh my God, look, did you see this new one? I just, I can't even like look at them anymore. The mint chocolate, mint chocolate chunk. Quest? Oh, I don't really like that. I'm just over it. Like I used to be really excited about them, but I'm over it. Oh, look at these. Five grams of sugar, that's really good. Okay, try it. Ooh, and this one. All right. Guess I'll pick up a few of these. 99 cents? 
I was just gonna get a couple. I like to have these on hand too, even though I fill up my water bottle. Is this, um, I'm curious what those taste like. I thought that was like Dr. Prego's. <laughs> um, I wonder what these taste like. Spicy chicken veggie burgers. Do you think they're good? Oh wow, look at these. Quinoa burgers. I'm interested. Spicy buffalo style quinoa burgers? Okay, I will totally try these. These look really, really good. What else do we got here? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try this too. All right, you guys know I like rice cakes, right? Yes. All right, guys. Oh, that looks good. I'm a sucker for anything in this section. <laughs> that one looks good too. Tabanero. I love salsa. I was thinking, should we get fresh salsa or just like a. I don't know. Maybe just a hot salsa? I might just get the sprouts one. Maybe I should try it. I'm gonna put some of this on my zucchini spaghetti. Much better to just get this. I'm gonna get the fire roasted garlic and then we'll add some green chilies in there. Okay, and then we'll just get some diced green chilies. A little bit of artichoke, maybe. Let's see, what do they have here? This is just in water, artichoke hearts. Um, hearts of palm. Let's see. Ooh, hearts of palm would be really, really good. And then maybe some artichoke. We'll get it in water. Mean beans and fat beets. That's kind of expensive though, right? Oh my god, yeah. Do they have like regular beets over there? Ooh, what about some sun dried tomatoes? <gasps> yes. That, or coconut milk that um, Emily Frisella has, but it calls for some almond milk or coconut milk. So. I've never tried it. Have you guys tried it? Not really sure which one to get. Do I do unsweetened? I have no idea. Hmm. You guys, I'm gonna get this one. So we'll see. We will see. I love these because they're already chopped up and ready to go, so I just throw them in my egg whites or salad. So I buy this one, then I'll get the red onion one. And this is actually really, really good on um, on your tacos and stuff. I might get a small one. Let's do a small one of these. And like you're not up to it, all of this stuff's already ready to go up here. It's like already cut up for saute. I actually like to buy the Brussels sprouts already chopped. Let me get those. You can actually put this in the microwave and steam it and then stick it in the oven and it'll broil really fast. This is the section I'm addicted to right now. 
all these, look. They're amazing. They're t they taste so good. And then you just microwave them, it's like three servings in there. Like okay, then what about this? Oh, you don't? Alright guys, they shut me down, but I'll do a haul maybe when I get home. Maybe grocery shopping together is not a good idea, because <laughs> I feel like when we're together, we're like so motivated. We're like, oh yeah, we'll cook that, and then that'll be really good. I still want these in our backyard, by the way. <laughs> Make it happen. Yeah. Alright guys, so they shut me down. That was the first time I've ever been told to stop taking pictures um so but you saw the gist and when i get home i'll i'll show you guys if i have the energy to show everything but i mean if you guys watch my vlogs like this you know the preceding ones after this one you'll see me eating all this stuff so i will share it and um i'll try to if you can follow my blog i do blog about like my grocery list and what i got so if you want to check that out i'll leave the link down below as well but i hope you enjoy this episode of Shop with me at Sprouts, where Shana gets shut down, and we spend more money than we should have. But you know what that means? No eating out, right? Because we have plenty of food. And I spent about 140 at that place, and to be honest with you, it all it covered was like one meal during the day, and then it was like two meals a day. So, realistically speaking, this is like covering me for six meals a day. So, you know, it cost me about 150 bucks, and him 150 bucks which is actually pretty spot on, right? Anyways, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you when I get home. All right guys, I'm home. I'm pretty tired, um, so I'm not really sure how much cooking I'm gonna do, but I am, while I'm eating my dinner, going to make some of this very, very teriyaki soy ve, and I'm gonna put this um, with all my chicken that I got. I'm going to marinate it for whatever time it takes. Let me go get a Ziploc. So I'm just going to put the chicken in these large um, Ziplocs and I'm gonna put some in the soy bay. And that's what I'm gonna do. All right guys, so I just put basically like almost a half of the bottle in here. And I'm just gonna let it marinate and put it back in the fridge. And um, yeah, and then this one I'm just gonna spice with this new Moroccan seasoning I got at Sprouts and it's called Moroccan Twist. And I thought I'd try it out. It does have some sodium in there, but right now I'm not like too concerned about sodium. Um, I'm just trying to, just trying to get back on. So um, yeah, I'm gonna season that and then grill this up. Okay guys, so I just kind of did like a little bit of a rub on this chicken and I added just a couple sprays of this olive oil. It smells really good. You could smell the cardamom and the cinnamon. It kind of smells like the Israeli seasoning I already have, but this is something that you guys can actually go and buy probably. So it's a rub grill, so I kind of, you know, rubbed it, and I'm gonna grill it. All right guys, I am so tired, so I'm probably not gonna do my meal prep the whole time, so I'll connect some videos of my vlogs during the week showing, but I just wanted to show you guys the finished product of my chicken. I've got the teriyaki, and then this is that Mediterranean. It looks so good, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stick it in a large Tupperware that I have already, and... I'm just gonna keep 